Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Lyon and welcome to another Safe Send Shorts video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the integration between Intuit Lacert and Safe Send Returns. Now this video won't actually show how to set it up. For information on that, you can go to our help center and look up Intuit Lacert integration or please reach out to our support team at support at safesend.com uh, for more information. Now first we're going to watch how to get a tax return from Intuit Lacert over to Safe Send, and then we'll show you where that ends up in safe send once it's over so for that i'm going to turn it over to a colleague over at intuit and they're going to explain how to get that done in lacert you can now send returns using safe send and track your client's status while staying within your workflow after adding the column for safe send you will see a column that will display one of two statuses either send return which will initiate the return review process or Sent to Safe Send, which will display once the return has been sent. To send with Safe Send, from the Safe Send column, select Send Return for the desired client. You will be prompted to enter your Safe Send credentials. If this is your first time logging in, you will also be asked for the subscription key provided by Safe Send. If you need help locating the subscription key, Select Where do I find my subscription key below the entry field on the screen. Once the subscription key is entered, the program will generate a PDF of the tax return within the Safe Send screen. Options to zoom in or zoom out are available on this view. Once the return has been reviewed and is ready to send, select Send to Safe Send. When the client return has been successfully sent to Safe Send, you will be given an option to launch Safe Send. The Sent to Safe Send status should now show in the Safe Send column for that client. Perfect. So that is how we are going to send the return from Intuit Lacert over to SafeSend. Now, once we are in SafeSend, we will actually see any return that we sent over listed here in our send tax return section. We can go ahead and double click it, process it, and get it out the door. Now, to find that key that was mentioned, we're going to open up the SafeSend developer section. So we'll go to the right hand side over here and select developer section. And once that's opened, scroll down to the bottom and you will see the SafeSend API or subscription key. Go ahead and copy that primary key uh, and paste it into the window that is asking for it in Lacert. All right, folks. Uh, so that was how to send a return from Intuit Lacert to SafeSend, where that return will end up once it's in the system, and how to get that subscription key that will be requested the first time you try to use the integration. If you have any questions, again, please visit our website, safesend.com, or reach out to us on our help center or support at safesend.com. We're happy to answer and we're happy to help. All right, thank you very much, and we'll catch you in the next one.